Alright guys, we're back again with part two with the Chevrolet Silverado. Um, we, we did a lot, a lot of it done. Um, all it just needs is some, oh look, those brakes are already rusted. Um, but we did replace those, these brakes already with uh, new brake pads and, and stuff. Uh, let's see, yep, everything's it's all been replaced. Yep, we are all good. Let's see right now. Now the the, um, the owner says here something about wheel bearings here. Hmm. So we're gonna check that out. So today I'm gonna be bringing this in. Alright guys, I'm going to take it into the shop and we'll go from there. Okay, so our first problem here, we got we got everything working on this car. The only problem is, so when the car is on, so here's the, par the parking brake's on, the parking brake is on, the, the light is on, but oh, now it's flashing. But when I release the brake, when I release it, it's still on. Push it again. It's still on. Push it out. Yes, I do. And it's off. The parking brake's still on, so we're going to check the fuse box and see how we're going to work that out. All right, I'm underneath the, um, underneath the hood. Um, that is... If I'm not mistaken, this is a pretty small motor. So, um, this is the fuse box. So, this right here is the top. And so, it fits this way. So, I'm going to put it. So, right now, they don't have any right now. What? Um, so, the thing we can do is test drive it. That's all we can do right now. Are you sure? Yeah, this is test drive it. Hold up. I'm checking the fuse box real quick. So, uh, right. Which, do you know the brake? What's the brake fuse? You just take it out and check if it's broken. Yeah. Um. So this one is facing this way. Okay. And. Uh, my my beamer had the fuse block, and when I checked it, it should tell me it was it would look burnt or broken inside. Yeah. It doesn't show which one is. Look it uh, up in uh. What year is this? Oh six. Oh six what? Oh no, sorry, this is an 01 uh, Silverado. Oh, 01. Not an 06, I figured, we figured out if this was an 01 because we got the wrong brake okay. rotors. What, what do we need to look for? Uh, parking brake. Um, parking. Parking brake light is on, something parking, like that. Parking, brake. Auxiliary power spare, fuse extractor, blah, blah, blah. ABD. So one of our friends, uh, is saying that it's not a it's not really much of a fuse box problem it's really much of a um, this for a fact that this parking brake will not click so we need to figure we need to check if that thing is gonna happen so when we what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the car and get all uh, get both the rear rims out and see if, uh, check the parking brake that's all Good. Huh? Sure. Yeah, we need a box. We got these uh, we got the lip points up. What we're gonna do is we got to take off the rim first. Yeah. We took the rotor out. Oh, Jesus Christ! What happened to the brake? No. This thing nearly tried to kill me. 
Anyways, guys, so um, we got uh, the rotor out. I'm gonna find a safe spot to put it there in a bit, but um, this is what we're gonna be adjusting right here, which is the parking brake, uh, parking brake um, star wheel. That's what we're gonna be adjusting to allow the parking brake to um, be on just fine. So yeah. How we doing? That's the swap here. You don't want to go too crazy because, like I said, it's not the same arc. It's not we're the same thing. Close, but it's not quite exactly the same. Adjuster. Then we're going to put the brake rotor in and um, put the brake assembly back on. We'll be done. Um, just to point out something, guys. If you guys are new to this, um, for those of you who are viewing on my channel, um, to loosen the rim, you just got to take these lug nuts out. Uh, in, in whatever pattern you want. Some people do the star pattern, some people do the circle way. But what I do is, well, you should be doing this all, at all times when you're tightening a rim. When you're tighten, when you're putting back the rim, when you're putting the rim back on, always do the star pattern. So if this, so if this one is number one, you go across. So that's number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. So there you guys. That's how you guys do the star pattern. So you basically go from the first lug nut you tighten, and then you go across. So this, like I said, this is number one, this is number two, then there's three, four, five, and six. And uh, what I usually do after I do the star pattern is I just double check if these, if these are tight in the form of a circle. The next thing we're doing is we are using the scan, using the scan tool. Just to check the electrical problems. We tried dashboard. As I did mention, there was a parking brake light on. It was on with the ABS. So this is what's going on. So this is the one with the e, with the e brake and the ABS light on, right? Uh, relay circuit. I think it's just the ABS. Okay. Now we're just gonna lower the truck down, and then we're gonna lower. The the whole truck it's itself on the left off the lifter. All right, I'm inside the truck right now. Uh, my mates are, are working on the, the uh, working with the fuse box with the multimeter, and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna see if we can find a way to turn off these two lights right here, the ABS and the e-brake. And aside from that. So this car's ready is uh, good to go. What we're gonna do is just gonna fix those lights and then we'll be done. Now we're rechecking the the fuse box again. Since the brakes, parking brake, and ABS are on, so we're gonna get that fixed. We'll see what's going on. All right. I'll stop by a park parking spot here. Uh, I'm going to be taking this Silverado for a test drive once again to see if um, to see a brake light on. We need to uh, see if the ABS is working properly. ABS and uh, parking brake light is still on, even though the parking brake is off. However, the the part of the brakes itself do work fine.
very uh, wafty f driving feel. Like I said, the good news is the um, brakes do work fine. We just need to get that uh, ABS and brake um, brake light turned off on the dashboard. Need to get like a new electro electronics for it. That's it, guys. Silverado does work fine and drives well. Now we'll wrap. Now we'll wrap up part two of the Chevy Silverado. Um, our next part we're, we're going to be uh, working on the dashboard lights. Call it a day for that one.